Thank you very much, everybody. Oh, man, well, thank you so much for being here and sticking around. Uh, my name is Pastor Andy. I am the children's pastor here at TC3 and the TC3 Kids Ministry. Thank you for hanging out with us and, uh, and being here and sticking around and not leaving early. Thank you. All right. Hey, man, now who could have thought that you could have this much fun in church. I mean, wow, think about wow. This is Well, you know, howdy doody, everybody. Oh, hey. How you doing today? Hey, it's my good friend Reggie Riddle. He's the leader of the Red Riddle Rangers. And uh, my, my friend, how are you doing today? What's going on? You all right? Well, I've been better. Oh. Uh, this morning, I got tripped by a frog. I oh. uh, fell in the mud, and, and uh, my cheeseburger was stolen by a squirrel. a squirrel. Oh, man, I'm so sorry, but are you okay? You going to be all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. But you know me. I've always got a lot of questions I never seem to get answers to. You do. You have a lot of questions. Reggie, do you have any questions we can help you with today? Well, to start... If the number two pencil is the most popular pencil, why is it number two? Shouldn't it be number one? Well, that is a good point. Um, never thought about that. And another oh, thing. Okay. If they make corn oil out of corn and vegetable oil out of vegetables, what do they make baby oil out of? Whoa, 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 whoa. we're not going to answer that question. I'm so sorry about that, Reggie. No, move, move on. Moving on, Reggie. So sorry. I want to know. Is Jesus some kind of walking flashlight? Because he says he's like the light of the world. And I just don't get it. Maybe you can help me out there, Pastor Andy. Well, that's all I got. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Uh, see you, Reggie, man. We love you, buddy. Hey, man, I think my buddy Reggie is a little bit confused about what he's thinking about, but I think I got it figured out. What we're talking about here is in John chapter 8 in our Bible. So kids at home and kids here and parents, make sure to pull those Bibles out. Pull out your phones, your tablets, whatever it is, your U-verse, and open up to John chapter 8. And while you're looking for that, what's up, buddy? Hey. So, uh... Props to you too. Hey, uh, while you're doing that, guys, let's think about what we've talked about so far. So far, we've been talking about how Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. And if we're connected to the vine, then we can bear much fruit. And last week, we said that Jesus is also the good shepherd. We need to be listening for his voices. If we're listening for his voice, he will guide you and lead us into our, into our heavenly kingdom. Today, we want to be looking for Jesus. How do we find Jesus? And what are we looking for in Jesus? And we're going to be right here in John chapter 8, starting at verse number 12. So read along with me if you can. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Now, raise your hand. How many people here have ever gone through your house with your eyes closed, blindfolded, lights turned off, you're just feeling around, and you're just seeing if you can do it, walk around your house without busting a toe or knocking anything over? I did that a lot as a kid. I even do that today in my house as an adult. And then, but like when I turn the lights on, or when I take the blindfold off, you can get around pretty safely. Hey, true story, my brothers and I, we would play football in the house, okay? My four brothers, we'd all play football in the house. Things would break, but, you know, we were never stupid enough to do it in the dark. <laughs> we know that light is safety. You know, light is safety. Now, now, the Pharisees are about to jump in here. The Pharisees are the, the know-it-all teachers who are better than you because God loves us more. So the Pharisees turn to Jesus and they challenge him and they say, Here you are, appearing as your own witness, Jesus. Your testimony is not valid. It's like, well, okay. In other words, you, if you're going to prove something, you need somebody to help you prove that it is true. And so Jesus comes with them up with the most ingenious way to answer these Pharisees. He looks at them in verse number 17. He says this. He says, in your own law. So he's telling you, hey, by the way, you made this law up. In your own law, it is written that the testimony of two men is valid. I am one who testifies for myself, and the other witness is the, is the Father who sent me. Who is this Father you speak of, they would say. Well, you do not know me or my Father, Jesus replied. If you knew me, you would know my Father also. You see, light is a tricky thing. We take it for granted. Because when the lights are turned off, the world becomes a very scary place. Really scary. It's like, man, what's going on? 
What happened to the light? Where's the hope? Where's the joy? Where's the peace? Where's the salvation? Where, where is everything? But Jesus says, I am the light. I am the light of the world. And, no, and, and with the light of the world, we know that we can always count on him. You know, that little bit of light breaks all the darkness. Right now, your eyes were probably straining, trying to find something to stare at, something to look at, trying to find something. And Jesus is that hope. He's that light that we need in this world, in this darkness. We need this light. Do you know what? I think we can do better than that. You know what? I think, I believe we can do a whole lot better than that. Because you know what? The light of Jesus is not just meant to shine just for a couple little people. The light of Jesus is meant for everybody. So what I suggest we do is I say we blast it out there, man. I say we blast it. We get everybody, the whole light of the world. We light up the world with Jesus Christ. We take the joy that Jesus has given us and we blast it out there. And we celebrate who Jesus is, everything he's done. That we get out there and we tell the world that Jesus died on the cross. He rose again for our sins and, for, and that we can go to heaven. Our salvation is based in him. Can everybody say amen right now? Just give me a hallelujah. All right. Hey, guys, raise the lights back up, please. Raise them back up. Man, that's what it is, guys. That's the excitement that Jesus is. That's what we're supposed to have in our life. That's what we need to hold on to. That is the light of Jesus. So parents, I challenge you today to continue this conversation on at home. At home, everybody else, online, make sure you can talk about these things with your kids. Kids, I challenge you to go out there and have conversation with your friends and share with them the light of Jesus. Let them know how excited you are and what he means to you. And guys, go out there and celebrate. And we're going to continue on, guys. A couple of things. Guys. We have a power verse to help you guys out. This John 15, 5 is our power verse. It's a very important power verse, especially this week. Parents, be looking online on social media because we're going to have a little contest with this power verse. So everybody, say this with me on the count of three. It's on the side screens and online. One, two, three. I am the vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do John 15, 5. Hey, guys, a couple, one more, two more things real quick. Number one is tomorrow is going to be our TC3 Kids Zoom event number 10. <laughs> That's right. We've been doing TC3 Kids Zoom for 10 weeks now. The only way to be a part of it is to ask for an invitation for me. Email me, Andy, at tc3.church, and I will get you plugged in. We already have families ready to go tomorrow. This last week, we had a special guest star. My brother was there. We had like 20 kids online. We're going deep in the Bible. This week, we're going back even deeper into John chapter 8 with a ton of fun. So we want to be a part of that. So email Andy at tc3.church. Also, don't forget our big red buses are out there. They're asking everybody to please bring your own mask because they are running a little bit of slow or low on supplies of masks. If you have a mask, please bring that. And one last thing, guys. Don't forget that the mission field begins as soon as you hit those doors. You guys have a great week. Bye-bye.